So these characters are kind of meant to be a part of that. You know, they're, they're assholes to everybody that they come across and they're able to tell themselves we're still good people because we drive a Prius. And apparently they carpool as well. There's three of them. Well, now there's, now there's four. Yeah. I, yeah, it's the the idea that uh, because you do something that is, say, popularly, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, good, right? Something that's yeah. considered good in social mo- in, in social circles like recycling or uh, I, I don't donating whatever whatever it's going to be. It, g- it gives you the the um, the privilege or the right to be a jerk to everybody else. Uh, and the a lot of the Prius, st- the specific story that inspired me about the Prius is at the top of five when uh, Lance is talking about how a Prius knocked someone's mirror off and said, "Yeah, people are starving in Africa, buddy." is a is a true story from a coworker of mine who shall go unnamed, who I. I, I like very much, and I respect his his skill very much. Uh, but he just came in one day and told us this story about how somebody had, or he had hit somebody's car, I think, with his door in his Prius. And the guy said, the guy looked at him and said, "Hey, man!" And with all seriousness, my coworker proceeded to tell us his side of the story, which went something like, "Yeah, hey, man, children are starving in Africa. Get over it." And he said this with like perfect um, justification, like this is uh, totally fine. And I, I was flabbergasted. I, I, I still really enjoy. I, I still love him, but uh, it's, it, it. That's my primary inspiration for the Prius drivers was was exactly what Mark is saying, and I, and, I, and there was a real example of that at work, and I was a little shocked. Anyways, moving on. I thought you were friends with the other person in that story. This is this is new information to me. <laughs> It's I thought shocking. I told you this. I, I you, you told me the, the story, but something about when I heard the story, I thought that you were friends with the person who had been wronged. No, I was the I was the story. I was friends with the guy who thought he had done right by oh, telling the guy no. off. Oh no! <laughs> uh, this is, so uh, the per, the individual driving is Sean Samuels, an incredible talent. I I thought he was wonderful. Uh, he came into the audition. Um, Classically trained, as you mentioned in the previous commentary. He is. I, I forget what school, because I'm a complete jerk, but he... Possibly Juilliard. Probably Juilliard. Yeah, probably some very prestigious school that he uh, worked very hard for. And now he's um, a dick in some eight big glasses. But he was... He, he think he came in, he was a third or fourth to sit down, and he was incredibly prepared and... My favorite thing about it was that he just was so serious about the role. And, and, and everyone else played it like it was a joke. And oftentimes humor comes from playing the opposite of that, which is it's just very serious right now. And we are going to be very, very serious about what's happening. And, of course, there's no way that anybody in the world could be serious about what's coming out of their mouth. But he somehow managed it and knew that he was, he was right for the role. Uh, I, I just thought he was great. Very articulate, very funny, great with timing. And I just thought he was wonderful. Everyone, everyone loves the glasses on on Drake. By the way, they're just where'd you get those glasses? Oh, that's Lance. Oh, go on. You, you, talk. you talk. Yeah, no, these uh, these glasses are pretty great. They're they're very very Tron in the fact that like one is yellow and the other one is blue. He he couldn't wear them while driving. Is that correct? Because they were far too distracting. Are you talking about Sean? Yeah. Yeah, Sean. Um, he couldn't wear the lenses because they were extremely dark. Uh, while while driving. Also, there was a problem with shipping. I think we talked about in episode five where United the USPS did not get me the glasses in time, even though they had a promise date, and I was very upset. But so that you'll notice, thanks, this, Obama. <laughs> man, Obama. So there's a. That's why you see in episode five he, he turns the glasses on, but in episode six they're off. We had to shoot. We had a schedule, and so we had to live with the sh- shortcomings of not having the proper props in time but i wasn't about to let that stop the production of milkshake which was moving very quickly uh and it's just difficult to get everyone together when when people are doing things pro bono or for very cheap and so we had we had to go we had to take the shot and i just wanted to talk about lance paul in here incredible i i he we there's an out there outtakes that are coming up well i'll put uh him doing his lines the whole car just could not stop laughing i i think he's, he's Really one of the funniest people I've ever met. And um, go see his stand-up. He's great.